Greetings, today we'll have a look at the basic mechanics of the Olds elevator. What does it make it so unique? It's, in our opinion, it's simplicity. It is a very simple machine. It has a rotating tube plus a static screw, yet it can convey most of the products and it can outperform equipment such as belt conveyors, screw conveyors or packet elevators. Today we'll have a look at bearings. This is the first part of a three-part series. So let's have a look at them. So I said, we'll have a look at the bearings, which is your average old elevator. If it's not too high, you'll have two. Inside this casing, this is an old machine for test, but uh, here another casing with bearings inside. You will typically have one above the, the drive and another one below, so you have uh, your uh, the tube is centered and is, uh, is calibrated and uh, these two bearings obviously allow you to turn the tube inside there's the static screw you can see they are external they are not in contact with the product the product will be elevated inside in full bore inside the tube so if you have bracing here anything nothing will be in touch directly in touch with your product this is the very important aspect feature of the old elevator so as said before uh, the screw in the old elevator is a static no seals no bearing here just a screw with a bolt tight bolt in here and then what you have is the tube rotating around it help with uh, these uh, scoops the material will go in and be elevated conveyed there's a there's an important gap as you can see here almost one inch some 20 centimeters depending on the product so no particle will jam in there and as you can see it's uh, it's very simple as said no seals no bearings so no contact with any moving part or any grease because the bearings are outside right your average uh, old elevator will rotate uh, typically 60 rpms at maximum maybe 100 but not more than that which is not a lot so here you are I said these two bearings outside it's uh, very simple it, it's easy for maintenance and uh, yes you won't have to replace any parts in a very long time we hope you enjoyed the video please like share click the bell button so you don't miss any new videos next video will be on the engine the motor in the old elevator its role where it can be placed so we hope see you then see you